This is an introduction to Lifecycle Services, the application lifecycle management tool associated with Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations. This tool will help you in your implementation approach throughout the implementation as well as monitoring and enhancing your environments after the implementation is complete. The first area I'd like to focus on is the implementation tracker. This implementation tracker is based on Microsoft SureStep methodology and allows you to see where you're at in your project at any given point in time. It has different phases across the top along with the tasks associated with each of those phases. What's really nice about this is you can actually attach documentation. The next thing I'd like to point out is the management of your cloud hosted environment. So you can see I have two environments hosted here within LCS. Once I go into the environment I can see several different things. I can see which accounts have access to this environment. I can also see if there are any available updates to apply to the environment. Upon other things, I can do full system diagnostics, environment monitoring, as well as check if there are any errors or performance issues. As I continue to scroll to the right, I get more tools. From here, I have things like code upgrade tools. I have upgrade analysis tools, as well as issue searches. The issue search will allow you to look for hot fixes and patches available in the marketplace. The piece I really like to highlight on is the business process modeler. We at Sickich have industry specific business process libraries for manufacturing as well as distribution. With these libraries come pre-configured business process libraries with best practices embedded in them. When I open up this process modeler, I'll see different areas of business, different process flows. Things like lead to quote, order to cash, procure to pay. As I open these nodes, I can see all the different business processes associated to those, as well as the sub processes and if there are any diagrams tied to those. Within Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations, we have an awesome tool called the Task Recorder. It allows you to record business processes within the application and then generate associated work documentation as well as link the recording to your business process library in lifecycle services. I'll create a recording and I'm just going to create a vendor for today's example. Now the system is asking me if I want to capture the screenshots associated to this process flow. I'm going to say yes and start the recording. As I navigate throughout the system, you'll see the steps that I am clicking through here on, recorded on the right side. I'll go to all vendors so I can create a new one. You can see my list of vendors here now. I can click new to create a new one. And you can see the steps being recorded along the right hand side there. I need to enter a vendor account number and a name, and then the third required field there would be the vendor group. Once I'm happy with my record, I can save it, and then I can stop the recording. Now I have several options as to what I can do with this recording. I can save it locally to my PC for use later on. I can export it as a Word document. As you can see, it downloads the Word file, integration to Microsoft Office there, and I actually get the work instructions here. This is great for best practices. This is best for recording all of your different steps as well as during your implementation, being able to have work instructions to perform whatever business process you need. Let's jump back into the application and see what else we can do with that recording. So we can actually save this to Lifecycle Services as well. Lifecycle Services is the application lifecycle management tool integrated to Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. As you can see, I can access all my various business process libraries right here from the menu. Under my procure to pay, I can go down and find my associated business process, link the recording, and you can see my saving to lifecycle services was successful. 
So now I've actually updated the business process modeler with a new process flow and it actually created a Visio type flow diagram of the different transactions and touch points within the system. Within Dynamics 365, I can leverage task guides as help. You can see various help links there. I can also load associated task guides to this system. So if there are certain process flows that I need to access, I can search for them right here. And you can see I have a create new vendor task guide there for me. Now what I get here is the various instructions of how to do a process if I'm familiar with the process but not know the exact steps. Or I can play this as a task guide. This allows you to be guided by the system in a tutorial fashion but allows you to enter live data in the system. So this is actually directing me on where to go within the system and guiding me as I go along the way. Now if I were to click a wrong button it's going to tell me that I did something incorrectly. So again, you're able to access how to do transactions, how to do certain processes, as well as be guided by the system throughout the recorded process. The last way we can leverage task guides is through this task recorder. So we can actually play back recordings from Lifecycle Services. So let's go back to that recording we created just a few minutes ago and see what that looks like. So I can again be guided by the system or I can have it play all the pending steps for me in a video-like fashion.